Hi, it's me. Um, I don't do this often, so what we're going to do each week is I'm just going to read through some of the responses from uh, our students and families from last week in regards to their reflections on the scripture passages um, and uh, also share our prayers. Um, and so we'll start with the Bible passages. Um, the what we read last week and what our um, narrative lectionary passage was, was uh, Jesus talking about the greatest commandment in the book of Mark. And um, you can look at that. The link is on, um, it'll be in the description of this video and uh, for the document that we had and um, also is on the Facebook page. And one, the first question that we had was, um, was that in this passage, Jesus says that the most important thing that we can do is love God. And so we asked our students, what are some ways we can love God? And then gave them sort of some things that they could do to help sort of, um, some things they could think about to sort of start uh, that, kind of thinking about that question. And um, some of the responses that we got were that we could tell God that um, we love God that we can pray to God and that we can be thankful to God and thank God specifically for things like food and water and friends and family. And then the second question was, um, or the second response portion was that Jesus says that the second most important thing we can do is love our neighbors as ourselves. And it seems then that in order to best love others, we also have to love ourselves. So we asked our students, what are some ways that you can show love to yourself? And some of the responses that we had were that we could play with dolls, do things that we enjoy, um, say to ourselves, I am a good daughter or I'm a good son in the mirror. And we can remind ourselves of the things that we're good at. So, for example, one student said they could tell themselves that they are talented and maybe they could tell themselves and remind themselves of the things that they are good at. And our last little response question was, um, was this. With everything going on right now, it can be really difficult for us to go out and love our next door neighbors and those in our communities. However, the question I posed was, and, and sort of I was wondering if what Jesus meant by neighbor was simply those who are right around us at any given time, right here, right now. And uh, so I asked, we asked the students right now at this very moment, who is our neighbor and how can we show them love? And some of our students responded by saying we can listen and be kind to family. It's a great one. We can give uh, our family hugs. Yep, so long as we've been living with them, uh, that's good. We can be respectful and responsible, and that we can share love and kindness. Those are all just excellent ways that we can do those things. I'm really proud of our students for coming up with those ideas. And some of the prayers that we had um, amongst sort of all of the things that are going on in the world, one of our students named Annabelle wants to pray for everyone to stay safe in hopes that no one gets the coronavirus. And we do pray that people will be healthy and that they will be able to um, stay safe and to keep those that they love healthy as well and safe. Um, and we pray that God would, um, would protect all of us. And usually what we do during homework and hangout is whoever's leading the prayer time, after they repeat back the prayer to whoever shared the prayer, they say, Lord, in your mercy, and then everyone together says, hear our prayer. So for the safety and health of everyone, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And another student named Zoe, she wanted to pray that the whole entire world would stay safe. And she hopes and prays that there aren't any more earthquakes. And we do hope and pray for that, those exact things, that everyone would be safe and would feel God's presence, and that there aren't any more earthquakes and other things disrupting our lives. 
Um, so for these things, we pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. That's it for this week. And uh, you'll we'll have a, our next round of questions as it is um, and activities that you can do posted here soon. And I would encourage uh, you and anyone who's going to participate in those to, um, if you if you can, to uh, practice those at on Wednesday at 4 p.m. to kind of continue to keep some sense of normalcy in our lives as much as we can, uh, and also knowing that others are doing the same at 4 p.m. wherever they are, though they may not be in the same space as we are, that uh, we are doing these things together even though we are apart. So look for that, and it will be posted on Facebook and sent out through email soon. Love you guys, miss you all, and uh, hope you are staying busy and not getting too bored.